Hi YouTube, it's me again from Naturally Curly Queen. Hi to all my queens out there. I am so happy to be back on YouTube with you all. Let me do a funny act right now before I get started because that's just how I am. I'm a goofy person. <laughs> I just wanted to have a little fun with y'all but anyway I'm here today because I wanted to take these out of my head that I put in this morning and I just wanted to see how curly that they would be wow I hate when hair just wants to come off like that but anyway and then I want to stretch it down, do a quick little lint check for you all to see how long it is um, in the front. My front has been growing pretty well so far. If you see me looking up, that means I'm looking in the mirror and everything. But yeah, um, so far it has been doing pretty good. I do think my hair would have been longer if I would have did what I'm doing now with the first big chop, but I'm still very happy with my hair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take these down. Um, do I have any oil around here? Let's see. Well, I got enough oil in my hand, so I'm just going to take these down real quick. So far that one's curly. Even though I um, think that my hair should be a little bit longer because this has been three years. I've been three years natural right now. and But I'm, I'm just so happy with the progress because first of all, I do take medication for my heart. And people need to know that because sometimes medication probably can do that too. And I'm not sure if that's what's holding the holding my hair up but you never know so um that could be part of the problem but long as i'm seeing growth i'm happy I'm, I'm just so happy when i had a perm it was a disaster my hair was up long right here short right here long right here short and so i had to really cut it off so i really don't care about uh being natural because of all the stuff i went through with the perm and medication and perm does not go together so just thought i'd let you all know that not trying to knock the perm for all you people that still wear perms but it just wasn't good for my hair so and i'm just loving 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 my hair my hair. I just want y'all to take the time out to love on your hair. Yes, yes, yes. It is just awesome, awesome, awesome. But anyway, I don't like those little ball things that you get in your hair, though. I don't like that. But anyway, uh, so this is my hair. This is how it's looking. I love that it's so versatile. You can do whatever that you want with it. Um, I've had these bangs in probably three different styles since I've uh, styled it Sunday. Today is Wednesday, so the back has been up ever since Sunday, and I washed it last week. And so I'm just going to do a quick lint check with the front of my hair so you can see 
where it's at. Cause yet, yeah, cause that last video you can see that it was really shrunken up, so it didn't look like that. It was. Um, see, it's passing my lips just as I said. And I remember uh, probably about a month ago or so, it was just right here at the tip of the lip, and now. It's just a little under the lip now. You can put a little water on there so I can kind of straighten it a little bit out so you can really see it better. So it can really reach good. So that's where it's at. And I'm so proud. I am so, so proud. Um, I'm going to do a little bit up here to see where it's at. See? There we go. My sides right here and my back, the nape, it grows a little bit slower. Then the front, the front and the bangs, everything's fine with that. I don't have too many problems with the bangs and all of that. I don't want to mess my curls up too much. Uh, but I'm loving my hair. And I, I really believe that truly if you believe, I mean that if you love your hair and you treat it with tender, loving care, that you will see results. I use my fingers most of the time, but sometimes I do use a, a comb, like a wide two comb. If I'm in a hairy, like, because I'm finna, I'm finna get ready to start a job again, so, um, I mean, you know what I'm saying, I would use a comb to, like, if I'm kind of in a hairy, but I won't pull out my hair. I, I'm very gentle when it comes to my hair I will not pull out my hair I will take my time with it but you know I'm so used to detangling now that especially with my fingers so I'm detangling with my fingers and the comb at the same time so so that kind of helps me out a lot but um, like I said I'm just very excited to be on YouTube so I can show you all my hair I want you to know that I've never had long hair, never have my hair reached out like that ever in my life. And I'm not ashamed to say it, ever in my life have my hair reached out like that. So that lets me know that I must be doing something right. I must be doing something that my hair likes. Um, so I'm happy and YouTube, just keep on. Don't give up. Whatever you do, just don't give up on your hair. I have times where, and I still feel like, oh my gosh, I wish my hair was where, you know, I think it should be. But I'm really being patient because I usually have a hard time with the patient thing when it comes to my hair. Sometimes I have feelings is like, where are these feelings coming from? Like, I just, I don't know. I don't know. How I feel I don't want to I mean I guess if it move out of the stage I'll feel better I will feel much better but sometimes I get so bored with it it's like help me but then I'll jump back on and I'll start trying different new hairstyles and that's what helps me through once I get back on track and start doing different hairstyles and I like the hairstyles and I'm like yes so I'll just do that and that helps me along the way to get <clears throat> my my thoughts right really because I really believe that this is a thought process too with because you've been think about it you've been uh, permed for half your life and now you're trying to go natural and it's it's hard I mean I mean I'm not gonna say it's hard to the point that you can't do it but you can do it it's just it, sometimes it gets frustrating and it's 
I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say that I don't get frustrated with it because I do, you know, but I just have to keep on telling myself and loving on my hair and saying I have beautiful hair. And uh, I like to say this, that I have not had anybody say anything bad bad or negative about my hair my husband loves it my children they're all natural and i mean i just so i have no problems with it i i, I feel like a lot of people in here they have people talking about you know natural hair and it's like i don't i don't i've never really had that problem i've always had people to say you know good things or you know they don't say anything if they don't well don't bother me because I love my hair even if I would go somewhere like in the stores and people might be looking or I don't even look at them because I don't really care you know it's not their hair it's my hair and I love it and so if they don't like it then that's tough tough so I mean you know because they're gonna wear their hair the way that they want to wear it so I'm gonna wear mine the way that I want to wear mine um, but I was trying to think of something that Hmm. Somebody might have said, might have said to me, but it wasn't to the point where it just really made me upset and be like, wow, you know, um, it was a little comment, but it wasn't something really bad that would just make me so mad that it would be like get on my nerves. I mean, like I said, I love my hair, and once you love your hair in yourself, you won't care about what they say, what nobody say. Just leave the naysayers out. Just say, hmm, I know I'm beautiful. I don't care what nobody say. So, I just want you to know that. Hmm. Now, I'm not trying to have other two, but let me quit. <laughs> Have a good one, YouTube. See you in my next video. Please thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.